Hi everyone, my name is Daniel Laskowitz. I already posted a couple of videos about Win Automation, but so far I only touched upon the desktop automation part of Win Automation. There's also web automation within Win Automation, and that makes it possible for you to create a process that will automate some tasks you do on a website. For instance, filling in a form or maybe getting data from a certain website or doing all kinds of stuff with the web browser. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily get a currency or the converted currency from google.com. I believe that a lot of people already saw that scenario with UI flow, so I thought it was nice to do this as well with Win Automation and show you the differences. So without further ado, let's switch to my desktop and build the process that will convert a currency from US dollars to euros, for instance. That's what I'm gonna use in this case. So let's go. Okay, so here we are in the Win Automation Console on my desktop. You can see that I already have the currency conversion process in here. So let's open it up and see what's inside. I haven't added any actions in here because I wanted to show you the whole process. So let's start with adding a web automation action in here. And we are gonna launch the new Chrome action. We're gonna use that one. So launch new Chrome is one of the options. You can also attach it to a running Chrome uh, window. So you don't have to launch a new Chrome window, but you can also attach it. There's a big warning here. In order to use Chrome with web, web automation actions, you'll need to modify its settings first. When you hit more info, you'll get into a help screen where they explain everything about what you need to do. For me, it was really easy because I could, let's select okay here, by the way, I could just go to tools at the top here and go to browser extensions and then hit Chrome to open up the Chrome extension and install it to my browser. You have also the other uh, browser extensions in here for Edge and Firefox. For Internet Explorer, you only need to change the setting uh, to make sure that Win Automation has access to your web browser as well. You don't have to install an extension in that case. So that's about it for that. So open up Launch New Chrome again. We're going to use an initial URL of HTTPS. Uh, let's call it google.com. I'm going to set the window state to maximized and I'm going to leave the variable here called browser. I'm going to leave it like that. So let's select OK and see if this works. So let's start this and we can see that it opens google.com. So now we need to make sure that we get the right currency, a converted currency from the web browser. So in this case, we can enter a number, we can enter a short code for the currency we want to convert from, and we want to have another code for the uh, currency we want to uh, convert to. And when you hit enter, you can see the number here in a big box here uh, at the top of the Google results page. You can also see at the top that we have a google.com really long link here. I'm going to change this a little bit around so that we get a smaller link because I really don't like all the extra info here with the source and so on and so on. So let's just remove this part of the URL until we are at the Q, which stands for query. And after that, we want to, at the end of the query, we want to remove the rest as well. So when we do that, we have a much shorter URL. And if I copy this and press enter, you can see that we have the same page in front of us. So that's really nice. Let's switch back to the currency conversion process and open up the launch new Chrome part. Let's copy this or paste this at the initial URL. I'm going to hit OK. And when we now start it, it will open up in the right way. But now we only have the 
conversion of the currency, we also want to insert maybe a different number. So instead of 100, we want to add 20. So for that, I'm going to use variables right now. So let's go to the variables actions folder in the actions bar and use the set variable action to make it a little bit more dynamic. So let's add a value 20. Let's change the variable name to amount. Then of course, I'm gonna copy, oh, copy and paste this again. And now we want to have the USD value and we want to change amount to currency currency from I have trouble with typing today so excuse me for that then I want to copy and paste it again and change it to EUR for euro and currency from I'm going to change that currency to so that we have three variables that are that we can change around if we want we of course need to change that also in the URL. So if we want to build this, we want to remove the 100. We want to add the amount in here. We want to remove the USD in here. We want to add the currency from variable in here. And at the end, we want to remove the EUR and we want to insert the currency to let me copy and paste this or copy this URL and select OK, because we're going to use it a little bit later. But first, let's test this out and see what happens. So when I hit play, it will open it and it will show the names of the variables in here. And that's not what we want. So let's close this down and see how we can fix that. So it seems that the initial URL would uh, just put the whole text in here. So in this case, I want to have another variable in here and I want to use the copied amount that I already had, the whole URL. I copied that when we were working on the launch new Chrome action and I'm pasting that in the set value box. And I'm gonna also change the variable name to search URL. To, of course, use that variable, we have to change the initial URL as well. So let's remove that and add the search URL part in here. Let's select OK and see what happens. So now we have the 20 US dollars to euros and it's 18 euro and one cent. Let's remove this one. And we, of course, want something else here. We want to get the value from the browser because we want to see um, which value is actually um, the converted value. How we can do that, we can go to the web data extraction folder in the web automation folder here, and we can get details of element on web page. So let's drag that onto the process designer. And now we want to select a control from a repository and select add control. We still have the old window open. So that's why it shows 90, Euro, 90 euros uh, five, but that doesn't matter for now. I'm gonna hit left control plus left click. And now I can, oh, it doesn't register. Let's do it again. And now I think I can see it. Yes, correct. Uh, so it didn't register the first time. I probably didn't select control as good as it needed to be. Uh, so here we can see we're getting the details of an ele element from a web page. We're going to use the browser um, instance, of course, because that's the browser we are using here. We are selecting the control uh, span and a little code in here. And that's the code Google uses for that element on the web page. And now I'm gonna change the variable name, that's the output, and uh, change it to converted currency and select OK. You can see here there's also a screenshot, so you know that it selected the right thing here. 
And some other thing we want to do now is, of course, we want to show that we got the right amount, the right converted amount uh, that's from the web page. So let's go to message boxes because that's the nicest way to show that in here and the, the, the most in your face kind of way right now. So that I think that's good to show you. Um, conversion completed. And I'm gonna enter some variables here. So I'm gonna use the amount, the original amount, and I'm gonna use the currency from. So something US dollars in this case um, is equal to, and then of course we're gonna get the converted currency. And at the end, we want to add the currency from or currency to as well. Let's um, change the message box icon to information in here. The message box buttons, okay, is perfectly fine for me. So let's select okay and show you how it works. So here we go. And then there's a message box conversion completed and it has the same value as it shows here on the screen. I could have faked this of course. So let's try it again with a different number. So let's change the amount to 1000 in this case and see if this works as well. Here we go. So it has to show 950 euro. So here we are. So that works perfectly fine. Let's move back to the process because one thing we didn't do is actually we didn't close the browser window. And that's also something we really wanna do because otherwise, as you can see that here already, I have tons of browser windows open because I tried the whole, the whole thing. So let's close the windows for now and see if this works as well. So there we go. It has the amount already in there. And when I select okay here, it will close down the browser. And there we are. So this was a short overview of the web automation capabilities of Win Automation. I hope you liked it. Um, I got this as a request from one of the viewers. So if you have a subject that you want to see from Win Automation, please let me know in the reactions below, the comments below, and I will make sure to create a video about that. With that, it's the end of the video. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you at a new video. Bye-bye.